Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do a little info sharing on how to uh, properly rig up a wacky rig on an O-ring. And this will make life a little easier and help your uh, Cinco's live a little longer. Now if you just put an O-ring on a wacky rig and run your hook through it, I'm using this hook so you can see it better. It sits sideways. And if the fish bites it, you got to hope that the fish bites it just right or you're not going to set the hook. When I first started wacky rigging, I was throwing like this and like the first day I got like five good hits and only landed two of them. Thanks for the uh, police department riding by. <laughs> only landed two of them. When I did some research, I found a better way. This is not the way. But it works. This is not the way. What you do is, I got me some young, young, ding, young dingers here. Carolina pumpkin chartouche. Take your wacky, your, your worm, your sinker, whatever, your yum dinger, stick bait, whatever you want to call it. You don't need a wacky rig tool. But they're like $2 at Dick's and they just make life easier. You take it, you feed your stick bait, your stick bait in there halfway. And normally you'd run off one o ring. But to do it right, you need two. And I'm going to show you why. Get your two out there. Like I said, put that in there about halfway. Run your O-rings off onto your worm. Bend your worm in half. And then see, because you want it equal. Push that up there like that. That's about, about equal. Now you got two of them on there, as you can see. What you then do is fold one over the other to make, look, to make an X. And that will hold your hook in the correct direction, like you would if you were just running your hook through your stick bait. So now your hook is facing out, and you'll have a better chance of uh, hooking up on your fish when they bite. I use a OT2 extra wide hook, but you can use a shaky head, jig head, whatever, and it all works the same. So you take this out. Jig head will make it drop through the water quicker, get a little bit more action. I usually get weightless. But you can do that like that. But with the hook facing outwards, like you would with a traditional wacky ring, where you just run your hook through the worm, you will hit up on more bites. You will set the hook more, you will land more bass. But use the X. Run your hook between the X. Add the O ring, and it'll help your it'll help your worm last longer. If you're buying like the Gary Yakamoto's and you ain't got freaking seven bucks to be just tearing through these things left and right, this will help you improve your hookups. Just doing it like this. This way, with one O ring, you're gonna miss a lot of bass, and you're gonna be really pissed off. Now I'm gonna tell you a secret that I do. It's usually, I will go out and buy the Eagle Claw hooks. This is not Eagle Claw. And I'm going to tell you why. I buy them intentionally because they're cheaper. And when I'm pulling my wacky rig through trees and stuff, and if I hook up on something and I can't get it off, I will walk backwards and straighten my hook out some, and it'll come out, and I get my wacky rig back. And I got my pliers, and I just bend it up. This isn't, this isn't Eagle Claw, but that, if that information helps give it a shot all right guys that's it for today i'm going bass fish tomorrow i'll be doing some urban exploration in the next couple days i found a couple nice spots be sure to like and subscribe and go catch some fish go explore something just get out of the house and go have some fun have a great day bye